Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with another Mystery Grail box. That's right, I suckered up and grabbed myself another one. This one is the Scratch and Dent box, which I normally don't buy, but I'm in a chat that a lot of people were raving or how not damaged their boxes are, so I thought, what the heck, we'll give it a try. I don't usually buy damaged, dented, dinged boxes because 95% of what I pull I'm not keeping, and it's really hard to sell a damaged pop. But we're going to bust it open. We're going to see what we got. Let me pull up the details for the box so you guys can check that out. Here we go. It's the Scratch and Dent six pack. It dropped on February 8th. These are some of the top hits. You know, I used to have the Sons of Anarchy set. I went ahead and let it go. I sold it when I tried to weed down my collection. Let's see. There's also a Pulp Fiction pop here. It would be better if it was the Travolta one, but... Let's go ahead. We're going to bust this open. See if we scored anything good. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a crybaby. <laughs> I know a bunch of crybabies. Uh, it is actually double box. Oh, there's another crybaby. I know more than two. Um, oh, here's our scratch and win ticket. So it's actually in a different box. <laughs> Got this one open. It's kind of nice that they double box their ding and dent boxes. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna show the tops. I didn't really want to look and see what they were. So that's why I just did a little peek. Put it from the other side, so we're pulling them out from the bottom. There we go. Oh, nothing in a protector, but that's probably because they're all dinged and dented. But we double boxed them for safety. All right, well, so we're gonna start pulling these out. We'll start with this little start in the corner. I'm not gonna look, don't know what we got. All right, first one, boom. Oh, Attack of the Titans, Ymir. All right, so let's look at this box. I mean, honestly, there is a little right there in the corner, but other than that, the box don't look too bad. I do not, oh, yeah, there's a little ding here. Somebody opened it and didn't know how to open it. You know, you really shouldn't take your pops out of the box unless you know what you're doing. Always, real quick, flip them upside down. Use a knife or a credit card to carefully pop this out so you don't have your fingerprint in there. Not too bad. She's got a couple blades there. So that's pretty cool. All right, and we will do a value when we're done. Let's go to the next one. Our top. Okay, I can feel... The damage on this one it's on the plastic but it does have a sticker ready boom oh michael jordan yeah he's got a little bit of a dent there I think i've had this pop before other than that not too bad not too bad so again not a keeper but it's still a cool pop if you're a jordan fan it's actually probably be a really cool pop out of box all right let's go on to the next one all right. oh this one's heavy i think that's it ready boom Oh, we got a Michael Jackson pop. You know, I think I only have one Jackson pop and I, oh, look at that. The one that I would want to keep has got the worst damage. That sucks. <laughs> so unfortunately I won't keep it because it's got too much damage, but this would have been the one I would have wanted to keep. I may keep out of box, but that's pretty massive damage in my opinion. That's not a ding or a dent. That's massive damage. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, ready? Boom. Oh, Game of Thrones, Davos Seaworth. I have never watched Game of Thrones. And after everybody ray or complained so much about the end of it, just a little bit of damage right here at the bottom. Very, very little. The Game of Thrones fans would not be disappointed with this pop because the damage is very minimal. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next one. Ooh, another heavy one. Has a sticker also. Ready? Boom. Oh, we got Ursula. Oh, I've had this pop. Diamond Ursula, mermaid. Oh no, maybe not this one. Cause I don't remember mine saying 30 years. This is a pretty cool pop. A little corner wear. Other than that, I'm not seeing any real damage. Just some corner, corner dings, but this is actually a pretty cool pop. Damage, like I said, I'm not. It's got a dirt spot on the top. You can't even see it on camera, but it's right about there. But other than that, not bad, but a pretty cool pop. Again, we'll check value. And our last pop. Ooh, this one's light as a feather. All right, ready? And boom. Oh, what the hell is this? Agra, Agra Suko? Agra, is this even a real pop? I don't even know. There's nothing here telling me even what category it goes in. 
I'm gonna assume maybe anime? I have not a freaking clue. That's probably like a two dollar pop. I don't even know what the hell this shit is. Oh, this stuff is. The damage on this one does have the normal crease that sometimes Funko gets when they I guess don't line up properly as a little window scuffing, but honestly it's probably one of the best condition pops. All right. All right. So I realized in editing this video that the end, when I went through and did price check on all these pops, totally somehow did not get recorded or I deleted it or something. Hell if I know anymore. But anyways, I hit value. I just kind of wanted to come on and say that instead of just leaving y'all hanging, you know, but don't forget, leave me a comment. Let me know, know that you know I didn't leave y'all hanging because we know a lot of people don't make it to the end of the video anyways. So I probably could have left y'all hanging. Nobody would know, right? Anyways, don't forget, leave a comment because you could get entered in a giveaway. I do a lot of giveaways each month, especially if you're a Patreon. There's a link down below if you're interested in that. Otherwise, keep on rocking and we will see you in the next one.